All right, God. so let's find out what's going on this time. Well, Mercury is direct in, the sun, um, in Leo, but the more important thing is the sun. And um, am I on? I don't think so. Is that my mic? There we go. That's, that's much that's better. Okay. We're... So I've kind of been just Boy. like talking into the air. Yes. Figures. <laughs> um, and aren't you glad Mercury is direct? Can you imagine if it's not? Uh, Mercury is finally direct, so hooray, hooray. But the sun and Venus, the planet of love, are both in the sign of Virgo. So as a Virgo, I thought, gosh, it's time to bring some good news to the uh -huh. area. So for Virgos in particular, the sun and Venus in your sign means it's all about the Virgo. It's all about the Virgo getting what the Virgo wants, wow. um, which is kind of nice because Virgos usually end up treating themselves last. So for the next 30 days or so, Virgos are going to put their own needs at the top of the list. And because Venus is in their sign, love flows their way, which i got to tell you personally, I'm looking wow. forward to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So wow. that's a good thing for Virgo. For Libra, unfortunately, the Sun and Venus are in their 12th house. So for the next 20, 25 days or so, and Angie's going to hit me with a the bat, they have to give a little more than they get, um, that they have to help out someone less fortunate than them. Um, and the other thing about Venus in your 12th house is love behind the scenes, so. Yeah. You didn't get them? You didn't get them yet? No. Uh, well, Mercury just went direct on Friday. It will be coming. The answer is probably no, though, if I had to tell you Andrew, that. Andrew, give more than you get. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. For Scorpios, Venus and the Sun are in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. And Scorpios everywhere will take advantage of their female friends. Their light-eyed female friends will help the Scorpio get whatever it is that they want or that they desire. Um, for Sagittarians, 10th house of career and public standing. Sagittarians report card about what kind of a job they've Whoa. done over the last six months or so comes due over the next uh, four oh. weeks or so. And Sagittarians will find out if they've done a good job and attended to the details, then they get the reward of that. But if they have and if they've taken shortcuts or not done the job as thoroughly as they could have, then it's going to be a less than um, oh. satisfactory thing. But but that all being said, they're still in, in they still get recognition for the job that they did one way or the other. For Capricorns, the laws on their side, legal, educational, travel matters, important matters at a distance, all go very, very smoothly for uh, for Capricorn. And they need to know when the law's on your side, you need to use it to get what it is that you want out of it. And then if they're traveling, they need to take their bags with them and make sure they get there early. For Aquarians, the money gods smile on them, which is a very cool thing because it is unearned income. It's money that, I don't want to say falls out of the sky on them, but it is not something that comes through the fruit of their labor. It's sort of something where they benefit from somebody else's resources. And Aquarians, at some point over the next two or three weeks, get this eureka moment where they slap themselves in the third eye and go, oh, oh now I see. Oh. So, for who else? Pisces. It's in their 7th house of partners. Pisces, um, single Pisces will attract someone. Married Pisces, their marriage goes well. But Pisces in general get a lot of helpful hints from the people around them of what they need to do to improve their life and make it better. So, and nobody likes to ever hear that. <laughs> so I'm not so sure it's going to be so well received. For Aries, it's in their 6th house of work. Work situation improves for Aries, something that they've been working on, um, some obstacle that had been in their way professionally gets out of their way, and that their work situation improves dramatically over the next three or four weeks or so. The guys having the most fun, though, are Tauruses, oh. the sun, which is good for Pat, mm -hmm. um, because the sun and Venus are both in their fifth house of love affairs. Love affairs, children, amusement, sports, creativity, Tauruses have to be careful because all of those areas are going to expand mm -hmm. and if you want children that's a great thing if you don't then you need to be proactive about it because mm -hmm. new children either physical children or children of the mind ideas you give birth to um, are very very likely to come to be over the next 30 days or so Gemini's are cleaning up the mess at home which is kind of interesting because the United States' rising sign is Gemini mm -hmm. And although we Floridians escaped unscathed, um, the Northeast is really very busy cleaning up yeah. debris and, um, and getting their house back in order is really the big thing for Gemini, getting their home back in order. For Cancers, they've got places to go, people to see, things to do, a lot of communication going on, a lot of back and forth. Cancers actually have the upper hand in a negotiation and they can cut out a pretty good deal for themselves. 
which is a very cool thing. Um, and the pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up, so they got to make sure that they stay ahead of the power curve because it'll be very easy to fall behind it. And then for the last signs, Leo, um, money flows their way from earned income. Wow. If they were, you know, working hard and they were wondering whether or not they were going to get a bonus, they're going to get it. Hmm. Um, and it really is a great time economically. And women, in for one reason or another, help the Leo make money, which is always a very cool thing. Wow. So um, anytime you got money, you know, things are going well uh -huh. for you. So it's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. Uh, so. Thank you. We're going to have that on our website, too, all day. How long before that's on there, Andrew? Uh, soon. Andrew will have it on Poor there. Poor Andrew. Soon. He's got to run the board. He's got to do this. He's got to <laughs> do that. He goes, I'll get about 30 seconds somewhere, <laughs> you know, when I'm not doing anything. Yeah, uh, so. But um, to wrap it up, I don't think uh, either one of the hurricanes that are brewing come here. And mm -hmm. I really hope Texas gets some water. Yeah, so it's kind of like a, a good storm. thing. Yeah. yeah, not so much wind, a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so, thanks. Tomorrow's Go news today. Yes, it'll be on our horoscope, myq105.com.